You were, you were laughing when you looked at uh, yourself as Frank there. What do you think when you see that? I don't know. I just think, oh, was I like that? Uh, and you know, I wasn't bad looking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, um, it's strange. Mm -hmm. um, it's a completely, I can't say alien world, world to me, but, but it just shows you I was a totally different person because I was hiding who I really was. Yes. I mean, it's funny because you called yourself uh, at your worst, you said you were, what was it, uh, a nasty little uh, man. <laughs> and I wondered, because you still, in a sense, have to work in that macho culture. You've got young boxers now, you're, you're still promoting. And when you see some of your erstwhile colleagues and friends acting with a bit of machismo, do you shy away from it? Does it turn you off? No, it doesn't really. I mean, I actually see they pull away from me at the moment. I still don't, though I'm back, but I'm on a very small scale. We're only three young fighters. Mm -hmm. I get the impression when I go in the hall, they they don't know how to take me, and they're very dubious of me. Um, it's where before they would always come up and say, "Oh, how are you, Frank? How's this?" I've not had many of them come up and say, "Hello, Kelly. How are you?" It's more the fans that talk to me, and so the, so the fans are actually more accepting. Yes, I think so. So so what I was going to ask you was with was this book out uh, with this book out? Do you think your journey is over? But what you say would suggest that your journey isn't over. If you haven't persuaded some of your former friends and colleagues of who you are. No, I I, I think it's the fear of the unknown, and yeah. the fear of the unexpected. They they can't get their head around what what I've gone through. They don't realise that you're actually born with this condition. Mm -hmm. You don't wake up one morning and say, I want to put on a dress, I want to put on a pair of heels and, and be a woman, because no one would want to, no one would want to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a very good lifestyle. I was very successful in what I'd done. I was at the top of my profession. And I couldn't hold it together because what my gender, it was, it was destroying me. It was destroying the people around me that I loved. And I had to be honest and, and come to terms with that. And you have said that it's not, it's a matter of identity, not sexuality. Yeah, Explain I mean, that to me. Well, I mean, I'm a great supporter of the LGBT community, and I think we have to work together. But I think a lot of people outside don't understand that the T is actually not your sexuality, it's about your gender. And until you sort your gender out, you don't know what your sexuality is. I mean, at this very moment, I don't know my sexuality. I, I've not been in a relationship for at least six years. I'm not looking to go into a relationship. I'm still finding myself and discovering myself. Uh, that's and interesting. You are still finding yourself. And what are you finding, do you think? What, how, <coughs> how, how does your difference um, display itself? I, mean, it um, I think I'm a nicer person. I'm a lot more open. Um, I see the world totally different. Mm -hmm. Before, as Frank, I saw the world just mm -hmm. through blinkers. I mean, I made those remarks when I stood mm. for UKIP about, about the gay mm. community in Camden. Do and you I, regret that now? Yeah, and I, you know, and, and I realise remarks like that can hurt people, and I realise there's so much diversity well, in the world, but I never accepted it before. Well, well, is this a moment? Because you think that what is actually happening to uh, the trans community now is what happened to, the, as it were, the gay community in terms of acceptance 15 years ago. Do you think we are actually at a moment? I think we're about 15 to 20 years behind the gay community yeah. and we can learn a lot from them but i still think the trans community should stand sort of semi alone or at least there should be an end between the lgb mm -hmm. and t and not everybody agrees with that no i know but but then no one not everyone's mm -hmm. going to agree and the only reason i say that is because the t is about your gender the lgb is about your sexuality and until you decide your sexuality that i either want to have a man mm -hmm. partner or a female partner I don't know where I sit in the, in the spectrum. You um, are high profile, you know, Caitlyn Jenner is high profile. I would suggest that perhaps in a way, because of your fame, it's kind of easier for you. And I wonder about what you feel about people who have no out, you know, no support and who are struggling with it. I, I think it, it might be easier in certain ways, but it's also harder in certain ways. To live your life in the public, in the media, 24-7 mm. is very hard. I have no private life. I mean. I think the most successful trans people in our community are the ones that just go in the radar and start living a nice normal life. I can't live that. I go into a pub and I get remarks, you know. Mm. Is there anywhere you can't go, though? Is it, yes, St Andrews Sporting Club in Glasgow, the boxing club. They don't the, the boxing club won't let you in? Me. They barred me. We'll have to have a campaign. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed.